Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Market Solutions Insider Commentaries on Friday, March the 24th. And uh, we're lower in the grains overnight. I think we're going to be a little higher to start off with in the cattle. Hogs should see some follow-through buying after an outside reversal uh, day yesterday. They had started off lower, following the cold storage report, and then turned higher by midday. Big outside day higher. You know, that's not always a sign of a of a turn in the markets, but it, it's uh, probably better than 50-50 odds. That, that's the direction markets are going to take is uh, after that sweeping reversal to turn higher. Cattle futures look to be better here. We saw profit taking yesterday. Uh, really have not seen a lot of aggressiveness from the packers in the country. Still looking for some cash trade. They may be just willing to wait till the on-feed report uh, comes out. Now here's the estimates for today's report. Looks pretty uh, benign compared to several months of big heavy placements. Placements only expect to be 99.7% of a year ago. Marketing's at 103.3 and on feed at 100.3. So that marketing effort looks good. And why wouldn't it be? If uh, we got better cash trade, they should be moving cattle and keeping our, uh, ourselves current. We uh, noted that cattle weights did move up five pounds uh, the week of March 11th. That's a little bit negative, but we are still well below year ago levels. And I still think we're, we're very current. And uh, with cash, as I said, cash booming higher. Uh, we're doing a good job of marketing cattle. Grain trade is lower overnight. Yesterday's commentary, we mentioned key support, 992 to 995 in soybeans. We closed below both those areas yesterday in May beans. Next major support on the continuation charts down to 969. That goes back to October of uh, this fall. And the uh, harvest uh, lows in October, we're seeing harvest lows in Brazil in the month of March. I would look for this afternoon's Commitment Traders report to be bullish to soybeans and to corn. Those uh, reports, I think, will show pretty active uh, end-user commercial buying as they position ahead of the growing season from the long side. And uh, it's just always a matter of timing with these Commitment Traders reports. Uh, you know, we get in a downtrend like we are in corn and beans. Sometimes uh, it takes uh, several weeks to change things. Sometimes it can be a report like we have next week. It could be an acreage report, stocks report that changes that fundamental and technical picture. But we are we are looking at uh, some price movement in here of, of lower. There's no export sales to speak of this morning and really no news overnight. Um, at some point the uh, health care bill will be voted on. It was delayed one day and it's expected today and stock market's been a little bit firmer. Uh, anticipating uh, this report's release. But uh, for today, we'll look for grains to be lower, cattle to trade steady to higher, hogs better this morning. We'll be back uh, later on at our website and on Twitter. So hope you have a great day. Good luck and uh, talk to you soon.